it's one of the, you know, people um, in this contemporary culture criticize the Catholic Church for its teachings on human sexuality, for its teachings that, uh, that sex should be, sexual union should be reserved for marriage between a man and a woman. And people um, tend to interpret these teachings as being uh, somehow oppressive. And my purpose in talking about my past and in writing about it in The Thrill of the Chaste is to talk about how I found the church's teachings liberating. Because when I went to NYU and started to live this lifestyle that I was told would be liberating, and when I started to suffer from uh, depression, which I now know was from undiagnosed PTSD, and I saw a very secular psychiatrist in New York City who encouraged me to self-medicate by uh, trying to find fulfillment sexually. He would tell me, we shall be called to account for joys not taken. Joys, not meaning true joys, godly joys, but meaning pleasure. Uh, when I was at NYU and I was in therapy, the message was to act out of my wound, um, to act out of this sense uh, that I was only valuable in so much as that I pleased men, that I was only valuable in so much as I gave my body. The message was that this was what would truly free me. And what I found was that this was not freedom. This was oppression. So when I became a Catholic and I read in Gaudium et Spes the, uh, the um, pa pastoral constitution on the, on the church, I read, a man is more precious, ma a man, you know, they used to say man, man or woman, is more precious for what he is than for what he has. That was liberating for me. And likewise, reading in John Paul II's encyclical Evangelium Vitae, the Gospel of Life, uh, where John Paul speaks of the primacy of being over having. That was liberating because that told me the good news that my identity is not in how I please others. My identity is not in my physical appearance. My identity is not in the things that I have. My identity is not even in my uh, sexual attractions, whether I'm uh, opposite sex attracted or same sex attracted. My identity is in who I am as a beloved daughter of God in Christ.